Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Shane once again, back with another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video. We're gonna continue on with Goku's story. This will be part three. We're gonna continue on with the Android slash Cell Saga. So, yep, here we go. One year has passed since the battle with Frieza on Planet Namek. Frieza has survived and come to Earth, seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before him. The young man then transforms into a Super Saiyan, just like Goku, and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku, who was on Planet Yardra after his escape from Planet Namek, returns to Earth. The young, the youth tells Goku that his name is Trunks, and he has come from the future. He warns that in three years, androids built from the Red Ribbon Army will arrive. Apparently, in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered, and Goku has died of the heart virus. So, he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. After telling Goku that he will come to their aid when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his own time. Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to avert this the coming catastrophe in their futures. Look at the city. Looks so nice. Three years passed. Three years passed. And the fated day of May 12th. Has finally come. Goku and the others gather at the time and place that Trunks gave them. They settle in to wait for the Andrew's appearance, but before they know it, they are already here. Goku and the others couldn't even sense the Andrews before they started landing in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamcha's key is rapidly fading. They arrive to find him barely alive having suffered a mortal blow at the hands of the androids. Goku leaves Krillin with the injured Yamcha to turn to the face of the incoming androids. いいだろう。だが、わざわざ移動することはない。やめろ。貴様。誰もいない場所を作ってやろうと思ったのだが、どうやらここは気に入らないらしいな。I wish a lot of this was actually like animated instead of like slideshows and shit. Goku leads the engines to a deserted area, away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once at the safe distance from humanity, Goku questioned the androids about how they know about details about him and the others. As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Reverend Army in order to learn how to defeat them. He informs them that over time, he has not analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they wield. Android 20 is confident that victory will be his. But Goku only grins in response. What 
二人とも手を出さないでくれこいつらの一番の目的はオーラらしいかんななるほど確かにかなりのパワーアップを果たしたようだな不思議な技だ計算した数値をはるかに超えているだが我々が慌てるほどのものではない私は当然として19号でも十分に倒せるレベル内だあそうじゃあ早速その強さを見せてもらおうかな Let's go I was playing Budokai 3 recently, and funny enough, Android 19 wasn't even in that game. Like, all the fights with Android 19 just wasn't in the game at all. Hey guys, boss, that's not that funny. Is Andrew 19 voice different? I could have sworn he had a different voice in the original Japanese though. They're gonna trip. I was thinking the same thing with Jiro when he was talking. I was like, what is different? I was like, I'm pretty sure his voice is different in the past too. Maybe I'm tripping on it. Might be tripping. It's not like I played Budokai 3 yesterday. I played it a little bit ago. It was recent, but it wasn't like yesterday, you know? Earlier today, it was, a, it was a little bit ago. Too bad. That was not hard at all. The Yamcha outfit, nice. I was actually thinking about buying that one earlier, it's funny enough. Goku loses consciousness after his battle with the Andrews. Once he is given the medicine from Trunks, he comes to the he comes to a few days later. During that time, Android 16, 17, and 18 awaken. And to make matter worse, a creature named Cell has appeared and is seeking the ultimate power. It is through absorbing 17 and 18 that Cell plans to attain this perfect form. Not aware of his new foes, Goku enters the Hyperbiot Time Chamber so he can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning, I'm not reading this out loud. <laughs> Goku explains his training plan to Trunks and Vegeta. The two of them enter the chamber first. A day passes, but then Goku senses an impending battle. It's <laughs> いや、相手の気が感じらんね。多分人造人間たちだ。言ってもwant to help wait for Vegeta and Trunks. 
What if Vegeta and Chunks is what Goku did, right? So go and help is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something different. I wanna make this I wanna make this story different. Goku and his friends sense the cell is approaching Piccolo's location and use the instant message to hurry to Piccolo's side. Just as they arrive, however, Piccolo is attacked and mortally wounded by Cell. Seeing their friend hurt, Goku and Gohan fly into a rage that make that marks the beginning of the battle with Cell. I love Cell's Japanese voice. He's always like, Goku. I, I love how he talks. This is your name. I love how Cell, like his Japanese voice, I love his Japanese voice. See what I mean? See, I love that shit. Da, da, da. Uh, see what I mean? He does that shit. I wonder if since I'm helping the androids, does that make the androids join our team early on? I love 17 Japanese voices. Uh, 17 is my favorite character, but like, his Japanese voice is just so good. Sounds so cool. There we go. It's not dead. I didn't think you'd be able to absorb the energy. Maybe in here. Later, Cell absorbs Andrew 17, while one step closer to his perfect form. Well, 18 too, damn. Soon after, he absorbs Andrew 18, thus achieving his perfect form. Following this, Cell declares that Cell Games will be held after 10 days of preparation. He states, uh, he states he wishes to prove the strength of his final form, enjoy a, a little in entertainment, and of course terrorize the world. Goku completes his training in high about time chapter. Although he says Cell is stronger than him, he's, his spirits are not, have not been crushed. Sorry guys, it's late. I can't rewrite. 
10 days pass and the cell games begin. It's 1 a.m. on the dot. So, how are you going to start the game? What are you going to do? You are going to do the same thing. You are going to do the same thing. ああ、そうだ。いきなり貴様からか。一番の楽しみは最後に取っておきたかったのだがな。来い。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。
めてくれって言ってるだろうよーしセルジュリアたち大遊びはそこまでだ殺したければ好きに殺していいI just fight this damn cell drinking forever, man. God damn. He has like a million health. Will not fucking die. Even though it's like, I'm gonna just blow everything up since I can't win. <laughs> He really said that shit. Also, did I even wish back King Kai's planet? Because how the hell did he get his planet back? Maybe they brought it back. I don't remember. I don't remember if they wished it back or not, because I remember his planet was just back.
わわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわGoku used his mission to bring him, both himself and Cell, to King Kai's planet and save Earth from self self destruction. And risk fucking King Kai. Cell successfully regenerates his body, and returns to the Earth, but Gohan, inspired by Goku's words, stands to meet him, ready to end him once and for all. Everyone wants to revive Goku, but he asks him to stop. <laughs> Bye bye. Earth may may not have him there to protect it, but he's not worried so long as it has go on and all of them. Its future is in their hands now. All right, guys, that was the Android Saga. We'll be back with the Boo Saga. Um, that'd be part four. Android Saga seemed like it was pretty short. All things considered, it seemed pretty short, but yeah, but we'll be back with the boost. I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, it's been Jane once again, and I'm out. Peace.